happy Friday. I just got back from the skate park watching my boys do some fun tricks um, and I'm starting dinner. And I was just thinking through some things and kind of giving myself the weekend pep talk. We survived the week and reflecting on some things and then I realized it's really the same pep talk I give people when I consult for homeschooling. Um, when they come over and sit down, they come thinking, I don't think I can do this thing. Um, and then they leave feeling like they can. So these are the things that I share with them and I say often to myself. So number one, in 20 years, when my kids are grown, they leave the house, is what I'm spending my time and energy doing by homeschooling them something I'm gonna regret? And no, it's not. I will not look back and say, oh, I wish I sent them to public school. Nope, not gonna, not gonna be the thought I have. Um, especially in this time where they're wearing masks all day and there's indoctrination and crazy bully stuff happening and all the other things. So with that in mind, I remind myself that there's hard things in every situation. So if I sent my kids to school, there'd be a lot of hard things we'd have to work through and overcome, whether it would be um, what they were learning or how people treated them. I have lots of friends whose kids go to school and, and I hear the struggles. So their struggles in every situation. And how I see homeschooling is, all right, there's gonna be struggles and there's gonna be hard things. And I'm gonna try to work through those and grow and improve and get better and say I'm sorry. And um, each day's a new day. So with that said, you know, looking back, I'm, I'm not gonna uh, regret the time I'm spending teaching my kids math and history and science and the love of learning and encouraging their hearts to to wonder and investigate and um, learning things that they might not have ever learned in school these days like cursive and and how to be kind and loving to one another and, and to do their chores and to do them well and to to develop um, critical thinking and problem solving all these things that um, I'm helping them learn by homeschooling them. Um, so that's one thing I want you to think about. If you're sitting here thinking, man, I'm not happy with the situation, but I don't think I could do anything differently. Um, it's a choice. It's a choice to send them. It's a choice to not send them and um, figuring out how to make it work so that you can do really what's best. Um, and then having people come alongside you that will encourage you and who will remind you um, there's been so many days I have looked up over the past, you know, eight years, what the school ratings are for schools nearby. The one, the neighborhood school my kids would go to is a two. It's a two out of 10, I guess. I don't know what that means, but it doesn't seem very good. So it's like, well, if I teach a math and I, we do reading and we do this, pretty sure we, we at least did a two today. I mean, so in perspective, it's easy to feel like a failure some days or that you didn't get to every subject or, um, you know, something's really difficult and it's taking longer. And so in those early years, I used that perspective to really help me go and keep going to know schools don't even finish all their books every year. Let it go. Do your best. Keep going. Keep moving. Make progress. Um, but not to hold yourself to this impossible standard at the beginning, but instead take one day at a time and work towards that goal of doing it better each day. Have a great weekend, and you can do it. You can homeschool. All right, bye.